Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome back to Zelda Like. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at a game called Hub. This game came out earlier this year in September for both the PS4 and PC. And I bought it on PC, which is Steam. I have it downloaded. I have yet to play it, but from what I've seen, it seems very Zelda-like. And a lot of you guys actually suggested this game for me to check out. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm really excited for this. So here we go. All right. Already just looking at this like title screen and everything, it looks amazing. And whoa, okay. The controller is rumbling as you can see I'm playing on the uh, PC, but I have my Xbox One PC controller. And oh, whoa. Why does this guy look like Bastion or something from uh, Overwatch? I guess because he's a robot with the same similar uh, type of... Actually, I don't. I forgot how Bastion looks. It's been a while since I played Overwatch. But anyways, I don't know what's happening, but... Oh, okay, this is the main character, the little guy. Yeah. I don't think he's a hobbit. I don't really know why the game is called Hobbit. I know nothing about this game. That's the whole point of Zelda Like. We kind of experienced the first, uh, you know, 30 minutes to an hour of a new game. And no, I can move already? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, wait, I can. Look, I'm twirling around. Woohoo! Okay. No, we can move. Sweet. So we got fixed camera angles. Oh, yeah, okay. From the trailer, it was like a top-down view. I was going to say, is it really in 3D? It looked like, see, from here, it was going to be like that, but no. Kind of reminds me of Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, where it has that mixture between top-down and uh, 3D. Or you could even say a link between worlds um, for the 3DS. That's very similar to this as well. But, okay, like, can we fight things? Can I jump on this? Okay, it's just running away from me. Whatever. Let's just keep going. I like the way this, you know, character looks. He looks pretty cool with this red hood and the glowing eyes. I'm assuming he's also a robot thing. But, alright, um, I have no idea what to do. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and run around and see where this game takes us. But I have to say, the grass looks really sick. I, I just love the art style already for this game. Obviously, it's not realistic whatsoever. They're kind of going for their own thing. Uh, kind of like the stylized look. And I really like the way it looks. But, okay. Nothing I can do here, it seems. I'm gonna need like some sort of item. I think I'm gonna need a weapon, of course. So let me see. Can I jump on this and then? No. Okay. I don't know why I thought that little, uh, you know, part of the ledge would have been able to take me higher. But okay. Uh, can I punch this? What the heck? What do I do? Okay. We'll just keep running around. Aha! Hey, buddy. Ooh. Can I jump in it? Oh no. Okay. What do I do, guy? Also, I'm assuming the game is saving when it has the logo on the bottom right screen. But this might be a checkpoint or a save point we're going to learn later on. The game is just not telling us anything right now. And I don't mind that. I'm actually one who doesn't really prefer tutorials. Um, I'd rather just learn for myself. So this is fine. You know, let me just take the game in and, you know, kind of piece things together as I go along. I prefer games like this. I really hate games that hold your hand. I feel like that's most games nowadays. But, all right. So, what do I do here, man? Um, oh, he's walking back. Ooh, you can hear somebody from far away? What's, what the heck's going on? What are you gonna do, punch it? Oh, look at that, now break it. Smash, oh he is, whoa, that was sick, thanks, buddy. I don't know who you are, but I appreciate it. Can you climb up here? Oh, he's just walking up here, he doesn't need a jump or anything. Okay, what's this thing that's crying? Unless I'm assuming you guys can slightly hear it as well. Some weird poison. So not this. I'm pretty sure the game just wants us to follow this guy right now. So we're going to continue doing that and see where it leads us. But yeah, from what I know, this game has puzzles. And I, I really look forward to solving puzzles, especially in this, you know, style of game. Like, it already reminds me of Zelda in a way. So I'm really excited to see what there is. But already looking here, these seem like weird contraptions that we're going to have to solve uh, later on and see what they do. Maybe there's a lot of backtracking in this game or maybe just following this guy will have us um, You know start from the beginning or something. I don't know. Okay, what's this? Okay, it's running away from us as well So I'm not gonna bother with it up here is something but this guy already opened up the path forward and ooh, look at this view The camera kind of panned down a bit. Okay, never mind. Going back up <laughs> Still it, it looked really nice like that. Okay, so what are you doing here? Oh, whoa Looks like we're going to be doing a lot of puzzles like this where we move stuff. Can I do it as well? What do I do, man? Okay, he's, just, he's still walking. Okay, you know, I, I personally don't like tutorials, but like, you know, just, just tell me what's going on. Oh, you want me to come up here? Okay. I'm assuming you want me to by walking through here. Wait, you opened up a pathway for me to get to, right? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Now, I could go the long way or maybe I could push this block. Hmm. 
Let's just do the long way. Okay. The little platforming in this game, don't mind it. I mean, the controls are really nice, so, like, I, I wouldn't mind it. If it was, you know, like, Phantom Hourglass with Spirit Tracks, maybe that'd be a different story, because that those games require the stylus. Uh, I don't mind it, but I mean, like, for platforming, that would be weird. Okay, so, guy, Bastion, um, do I, do I stand on this? No, I don't. Hmm, okay, let's just keep going, then. What about this? What about... <laughs> All right, yeah, th this is way too vague right now. Like, I, I, I reached you, maybe up here? Mm. Oh, hey there. Oh, okay. What the heck? This is a weird looking animal. Looks like it has like a skull or like another face on its nose. All right. You pet it and just walking by man I love the structures in the background oh is it gonna pan out all the way and give us a good view of this oh no whoa what the heck um dang whoa his hand what's going on no 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 what the you're gonna cut off his hand cuz he's, he's infected so it was spreading to the rest of his body <gasps> whoa okay so Patrick blank uh, n names Credit, here's the credit. People who created the game. I believe this is by Runic Games. Runic something. Said that in the intro when I was loading up the game. So. Interesting uh, intro to the game. I like the gears and stuff. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of gear puzzles to begin with. So that's why we're seeing all these weird structures. Already the aesthetic for this game is very interesting. Like, I like its art style a lot. I may have said that before, but I mean, I can't help it. It does look really good, but okay, so what's gonna happen here? Also, I am playing this on the highest settings. It should at least be 60 frames per second. Sometimes my recording software says it goes up to 100. You may not notice because YouTube didn't let you do above 60, but I'm hoping at least it stays at a steady 60 frames per second and doesn't drop. The only issue with recording PC games, is I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's kind of inconsistent in terms of quality. But okay, Hob, there we go. This is the title. So we kind of just played through the prologue. Let's see what there really is to offer in this game. Like, now we gotta actually get to the meat of things and I'm excited though. Okay, so we woke up with, oh, this is how we get the mechanical giant arm. And it's gonna let us do a lot of stuff. I wonder if Bastion gave us his own arm. Nah, maybe not. Either way, it, it was very, very sudden how all of that happened. Like, instantly from him getting infected to losing his arm, and now we're just here. <laughs> he, like, he has to put his hand on top. Like, they, they don't match. They're not the same size. What's going on? Okay, here we go. So, now we're uh, gauntlet man, gauntlet boy, whatever, I don't, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but let's just leave, okay, here we go, so return to the workshop to, I guess, upgrade stuff? We're back out here, though, so yeah, it looks like now we can backtrack, oh, and now the Bastion guy isn't here, and now we can move this, because we're much stronger, cool, okay, let's, let's hit the controls right, so let me push this, nice, I'm liking this, I wonder if I connect it, no, I think this is the only area I can push. This is kind of like a shortcut to head up here a bit quicker. But now I want to head back to where that switch was. Maybe I can press on it now. Or punch it. Right? Punch it. No, you can't punch? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's head over here then. I probably can push this block out. Yeah, block puzzles. That's what I'm talking about. This reminds me so much of just Zelda in general. I don't mind it, but okay, you know, you can't do anything with this. So we got to keep pushing this on obviously the pathway that is drawn out for us. You know, there's very little grass here. It seems like someone's been messing with it. Maybe pushing blocks back and forth or something. I don't know. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious for us, but okay, let's uh keep going I like how the trees kind of fade out to show your character if he's behind it this is a thing a lot of 3d games do uh, I feel like I don't see it that often in 2d or top-down games this is like in between but I don't know, it's definitely appreciated but okay can I save now or use this or what I don't know what this is I feel like it's a save point but oh hey Bastion what up I need to stop I want to figure out I wish I knew his name he did give me his hand oh man that sucks sorry about that buddy Oh, but a sword and can I can I pick it up? <gasps> yes! You know this is my kind of game. If there's a sword involved, it broke though. Oops. Uh so, sorry. I didn't 
mean for that to happen but hey look it looked like from the bottom we completed a piece of our sword so maybe we're gonna find more of the pieces and and slowly piece it together i mean can i use it at least no i can't okay whatever can i can i like somehow i don't think i can get in there also there's a little bush blocking the way anyways if you manage to get around but okay so do you need help i think you need my help man yeah you do okay Sorry about that, buddy. You know, taking your hand. So, pretty much I'm just using his own hand to help him out. There we go. Oh, the other pieces of the sword. Go this way. Man, what a friendly guy. Okay, I will. And, oh, okay, there's a loading screen. Ooh, I can adjust the gamma and brightness. Interesting tip. Thanks for the loading screen tips, but all right. Huh. I like how he does that. Wait, wait. It's is it from like any height so there you go that was what two stairs let's try let's try this no okay i think it's just if it's if it's a pretty long fall he'll you know show you that there's impact on it which i appreciate you know it's a nice attention to detail okay yo are we like authenticating oh sword combo are you kidding me this is awesome Upgrades like this and you literally use your hand like a Sheikah Slate or something can't help but do Zelda re guys This is Zelda like I'm gonna do Zelda references. I mean, it's not necessarily like a Sheikah Slate But I'm just gonna you know, might as well <laughs> Okay. All right, so this is our first save point that we're gonna activate from what? Orange to blue like Literally shrines. I don't think so, but whoa Okay, so this weird piston sword thing went in and Yo, it fixed the sword. We got the runic sword. Okay, I don't think it's called the runic sword. I'm just thinking of the name of the the company here now. But what in it? That is such a cool concept. <laughs> Yo, this is sick. Okay. So now we can use our sword with our second hand. Nice. Okay, what, what does this do though? And we got an achievement unlocked. I wonder if you guys, I'm pretty sure my fraps should pick it up. Hopefully I pick up the, the microphone thing that is also on my screen. I don't even know why it's on there, but whatever. Uh, if you don't see it, you don't see it. <laughs> okay, anyways. We got our sword, we can slash. Oh yeah. I really hope it, ha it doesn't break or, or has any durability or anything like that. That would kind of suck, but all right. So what up, Bastion? <gasps> Yo, Annie has a bird. This is literally Bastion. Okay, I need to chill. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, wait, I bet I could cut this. Break it? Okay, can I punch it? Do I not have punching abilities yet? Why don't I? At least I could cut stuff, so I feel like I'm Link. Oh yeah, we're running around, cutting bushes, and oh, a vine to head down, nice. Oh, I love how he slides, okay. This is cool. I'm liking this a lot so far. It's very fast paced, like we're already getting, I mean, uh, the beginning was a bit slow, but like the fact that we're already getting into things is really exciting, and what is this? Okay. Something flew up there. Do I, do I like keep that in mind? Also, is it gonna keep me here until I get up? That's really cool. Hmm. It's very, very nice. You know, you get a scene of, of him chilling. You can see the butterflies and the, the shadows of the butterflies. I don't know. I, I'm really liking this. Like, just they're definitely, you know. Oh, do I trust the wind? No, I don't. I don't know why I did that. I'm like, I like see this white line moving. I'm like, oh, did I figure out something super technical? That that seemed way too out of this. Like, I don't know why I thought that would work. But okay. Um, either way, I'm enjoying this, and I do like yeah how they literally let this little guy sit down, and you can kind of enjoy the landscape and the music and everything. Already, this is becoming a very atmospheric game you can tell that the game designers did to have that in mind and that is something like i absolutely love in games games like this you know because to me a video game isn't just an, a little experience you go through from from gameplay wise you know not like old school games personally i like the whole journey i like treating it like a piece of art as well from its music to its visuals to everything so when i play a game i guess i expect more now i mean 
you know, back in the day, things were a lot simple, but nowadays, it's, I guess it's to be expected. Games nowadays are much more than just, you know, a game to overcome. It's also a story. It has, uh, you know, music. It has just amazing visuals. It literally takes you on an experience I guess you've never been to. And to me, that's like the best part. It's not just, you know, trying to get a high score or anything. And that's something I don't really like about games. Like, I guess, you know, I'm lucky that I grew up in the time where games were evolving. I mean, all technolo technology was evolving, but uh, games in particular changed a lot. And, um, yeah, for me, I'm not really a fan of, like, arcade-like games. I like games like this, where there is literally a journey. But I'm trying to figure out, can I, like, make this jump or something? Ah, uh, what? He dies from a high fall. Well, no wonder they added the vines there to actually head down. Okay, you know what? I'm not going there anymore. I think I learned my lesson. Maybe it's not what I'm supposed to do. So let's actually just backtrack a little bit. Maybe this way. And kind of see where this leads us. I think this will take us back to the beginning. And I had a feeling there was going to be... A oh, wait. No, it took us back here, though. Hmm, does the game want us to do this? I mean, I guess I could check because I even kind of assumed that there would be backtracking but I might be wrong I mean let's just check here so ooh, okay what's this it's opening up and I think it's literally just a checkpoint I yeah I think it's just a checkpoint okay what about back here uh, I, I like the way the camera just changes for that area specifically but okay this is where we started so maybe I can fight one of these guys come here yeah oh I can okay well, I don't know why I did that, but my will test it out. Did he give me anything? No. Whoa. Are these going to try to claw me down? Uh, okay. Okay. That was obvious. Um. Uh, let's see then. Huh. I don't think that I'm supposed to do anything around here. I mean, I guess I can kind of check over. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With all of this weird, like, poison everywhere, I think the game is kind of trying to force me to... Follow a certain path, but I can always double check, and it seems like, yeah, it's true. I don't think I can get around this at all. Just hitting it hurt me. Which, uh, it's kind of the opposite of what I want to. I want it to hurt the divine itself, but, you know, whatever. Okay, you know, oh, wait, wait, can I run? Oh, you can run by holding this. That's cool. Okay, you know, let me just hit every button just to make sure I don't have a punch button. I don't have a punch button. Okay, well, at least I can run, so I don't care. I'll just run around. <laughs> Yay! We can backtrack much faster. Let me grab this. Save point. Yes, this must just be an automatic save point. Let's not jump from a very high area again. Okay, Bastion, what do I do? Can I talk to you? Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just go this way, then. And I guess we should just continue on where we were. Maybe I should sit back down where I was. Okay, wait. Let's head around here. Jump! Head this way. Ah, wait, I could probably maybe climb this. No. Anything over here? No. All right. Well, yeah, let's head back. Let's attempt to go this way now. I'm just going to be very careful when I head down. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay. That's not how that works. It looks like this is climbable in some way, somehow, but I don't see it. Maybe I can climb from here? No. Yeah, you, you can't actually do that. So here, let's 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 do this again. We're gonna sit down, relax, enjoy the view, and see what the game is trying to tell me. I mean, it's not telling me anything now, actually. I I, I think there is nothing here right now. Okay. <laughs> um, clearly, it's not doing a leap of faith. Maybe it's just doing a side jump. Oh, wait, there's weird piston things here. Aha! So it is doing a side jump, actually. I was right. Should have just assumed that at first, but whatever. At least I learned. Um, okay, well, let's move on now. Can I climb over this? No. So what I had to do there was... Hmm. I guess we should, let's keep going this way. Can I climb up here? No. Well, I mean, clearly I'm making progress. I mean, I, I feel like at least I've... <laughs> Found a new area to go to, but now I just need to, um, hmm, eh, that didn't work. Oh, wait, what's this? Aha! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 
Okay, pull it out. Oh, it's literally a block that you pull out. Okay, I'm stupid. Luckily, you can push it from any angle, which I appreciate. Unlike other Zelda games, Kav... Kav well, it's not a Zelda game, but yeah, you get what I mean. Okay, jump! Yes. Let's run now. Leave a faith! Well, not really, because I kind of saw it there earlier, but whatever. Let's keep going, and then jump once again, yes! And then, super jump, and then there we go. Okay, we can do it. We did it. <laughs> Not bad, okay, and there's more to climb over here. So now I just gotta keep in mind that, yeah, this, this, you can jump, there's platforming, there's all sorts of things. That's something I didn't take into consideration just because the game is overall new to me. But, oh no, there is definitely a monster over there that I'm gonna have to overcome. But maybe by doing so, I open up a checkpoint. So, that's interesting. Or what's up here first? Whoa, whoa, be careful, okay. Nothing yet. We might figure this out later, but okay. Here we go. Our first battle. It's time. So, this is my chance. <laughs> you will not get a chance to hit me in return. Wait. Okay. Yeah, he did die. Nice. Phew. So now I can interact with this. Punch it. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, he's opening each side. Kind of like what we did with Bastion earlier. Okay. Dang. He only can use one uh, arm, though, because there's only like freaking Iron Man arm that he has but okay um any fizz type you know puzzles here hey, you know let's, let's just keep going I, I shouldn't try to take everything in we're just gonna move piece by piece and really see what there is okay so a new save point luckily so I think it was all automatically activated here I'm gonna have to find something do I make like a leap of faith or do, should I just jump from down here I feel like it makes more sense to jump from here. Yeah, okay. That makes way more sense. And then, ha, ha. I, was, I had a feeling I was going to fall because it looked like it, but I guess not. Oh, jeez. Things look like they're going to come down from the sky. Also, we have bats and stuff, so I got to be careful there. But let's jump down. Don't get hurt. Yes, another save point. Sweet. Okay, now we're making some progress. Let's see what's over here. Nothing that I can mess with yet. Or maybe at all. Ooh, what is... What the heck? Okay. Huh. Don't want to fall in that. I don't know what to... I don't... Wait, this is just... This is just floor. I, for some reason over there, it looked like some water of sorts. But okay, this is clearly going to open up something. So, I'm not even clicking anything and he's interacting with it. Let's see what it does. Uh, yeah, this game just overall looks like, you know, there's ancient technology that was forgotten. Some robots are now learning about it or something. Kind of reminds me of Nier. Could kind of remind you of Breath of the Wild. I mean, there's a lot of games that can kind of go for the style, but I do like how this is overall working. And whoa, we got an upgrade, it seems. So we can punch, we can break open walls. No way. I don't know what that did, but I'm liking it. Okay, so first, first achievement. I thought, I thought it said fist. Yes! Oh, ho, ho, yo, this is sick. Okay, okay, okay. This is awesome. So, hold. Yeah, baby. We can just break things open. This is what I wanted. The super iron fist. All right, this is going to be sick. Because I can open up that shortcut that's, you know, by Bashnan. All right, here we're going to want to do a jump from the side. And jump up here. Just be careful of all of these enemies. Oh, wait, it'll stick me all the way back or something? Is there anything secret over here? Probably not. Okay, let's just run. Run back. Uh Whoa, what's up here? Oh, wait, hold? Really? No, 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 It's over here. This looks like a three punch. Let's hold it. Oh, I have to charge it. Okay, okay, now I can. There we go. And, yeah, no, I think we just literally backtrack. Unless this will open it up for us. So, let's wait for it. And then charge. And bam! Okay. Yeah, it, so it's not as obvious. It's not like Zelda where literally uh, Oops, do I still have my all iron fist? Okay. Um, yeah, it's not like Zelda in the sense that you know the cracked wall is extremely obvious where you know You just kind of kind of guesstimate as well uh, From what it looks like, but Yeah, that was pretty bad on my part. I fell and died but you know what? Honestly, uh, yeah, it, it, a little time with this game, and I think I'll get it down. I'm really enjoying it. I'm definitely going to have to play much more of this afterwards. I don't know 
um, you know, if I'll per se stream it, but I definitely need to look into this more because, wait, 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 um, ooh, A and Y. Oh, nice, 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 and that's how you properly get down without killing yourself. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and then, whoops. Ah, uh, whoa, whoops. Okay. That was nice. And this is what's going to open up all the puzzles in the uh, overworld now. So, go ahead. Uh. Whoa, I can't even control him. He actually put his sword back and stood there. That's cool. Okay, can I move now? The game didn't want us to move while it was heading down for some reason. All right, but let's head up now. This is awesome. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's a lot of indie games this year that are so good. Um... And it, it kind of feels, it's definitely a breath of fresh air with all of these new indie games. It's really nice to uh, see games like this today. And um, just have overall a new IP, new experience, new everything. Something that doesn't seem com completely ripped off or inspired by something. This seems like it's taking its own take, but does have a Zelda charm to it, which I don't mind. I mean, obviously I don't. That's, that's what's getting me to play this. So clearly I love the fact that it does. It was like a new game plus mode where you can understand what he means. But no, I think he just told us to go over there. So, <coughs> there's our map. Whoa, this is a big map. Very big map. Jeez. Okay, and we have to head over here, I think. Or we have to head over there. I don't know which one he's talking about. I think we're here and we have to head over there. Probably. I don't know. Let's figure this out. Thanks, man. So, can I do anything with this? No. Let's see. Well, you're just going to sit down and relax. All right. Let's now try to solve some things. Now, I do believe there was a thing I could punch over here, right? Was there? There's a completely new area. Oh, no, because I'm so high up. Oh, let's just open up that shortcut first. I'm not going to backtrack this way. I just remember there was a shortcut over here. Yes. Wait. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, I actually need to properly charge it for these. Uh. Not bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and just run over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is how you teleport? Can I even go anywhere else? No. But it, okay. Keep, I'm going to keep that in mind. Little teleportation spots. He's like, oh, what's this place? I've never been here. You just walked in, dude. It didn't take you anywhere. Okay. Um. I think there was something over here, right? Can I punch this? No, that wasn't it. Never mind. I, uh, hmm. Why do I feel like there was something we could punch earlier that I really wanted to, and now I can't find it? Maybe it's back over. Aha! There's something over here that I can punch. Alright, this might be just the way forward, though. Let's go ahead. Okay, I can't cut those. Head around here. Ooh. Keep hitting A as an X. I can't help. I'm used to the PlayStation controller, not the Xbox. So. I don't know what these are, but they might be for upgrading later on. Am I, is this a bad guy? No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Are we good? Okay. Yeah, you, he he was petting the thing uh, early on in the game, so I don't think that's something I want to kill, or it's hostile to begin with. I think it's friendly at all times, unless we find, like, infected ones or something. I don't know, but all right. Uh, this does not look like uh, we could do anything in, but we have been here before. That's for sure. Maybe just running back to the beginning again. I don't know why I'm doing this. I keep wanting to backtrack to see if I like can get something very interesting. Or if the game just progresses from here. But I feel like, yeah, everything's locked off for now. And later on, we'll be able to truly backtrack and make use of it. I'm just way too anxious for some reason to do this place. But okay, uh, I guess we should head over this way. And see what's up north. Maybe there is a way forward. Uh, are you trying to get up here? I don't think you're you're giving me any like tip or anything like that. No, I, don't, I don't believe so, at least. But okay. Um. So let's see then. Definitely not this way. So we we opened up a shortcut of sorts. So I feel like that's some progress. Um. This music is so interesting, though. Like, it, it sounds like just, you know, background noise, like the, 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 the ambiance to, like, to this. But then it also has, like, very light 
music that you could kind of pick up at times time it sounds so good but okay let's just head over this way then and see if I can solve anything here just kind of progress where we should no more backtracking <gasps> what's this uh, crap I need to get used to the right button oh it's a collectible oh whoa you just you kill it well I, I don't really know what happened but all right oh this is where I can do this okay, okay, okay cool wait no we have to jump over it properly not what the heck no okay that's not how you do it then never mind uh hmm i feel like this guy would want me to continue through here but there's really nothing to do over this way unless i just do a leap of faith but we've tried that before and <laughs> It, it didn't end up well whatsoever. So I think, honestly, the way forward would be somewhere over here. I just need to find whatever secret the game wants me to find. That is over here. Because I don't think we can jump around here or cut this. Yeah, we can't. Or baby punch this. I doubt that's... Yeah, what am I saying? Don't think anything in the environment that looks like that can be messed with. But... Ooh, no, I don't want to jump down there. That sounds like death. Immediate death. Oh, look, look at the wind again. To me, that's kind of misleading because I feel like it would be some crazy puzzle to solve. But no, okay, so save point here. You know, let's just head down from this way. Maybe backtracking here will help. Ooh, I just realized, what's down under there? That sounds very risky. Okay, no, 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 be careful. Uh... No, 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 no. I don't know why I did that. I, I don't know what I was thinking there, but all right. Hopefully we saved. I don't really think even backtracking is the option. Like, it honestly might be where this guy... Okay, hey, buddy. Got any tips? Nothing? Can't even attack him. <laughs> okay, uh... I mean, it would make sense for us to head back in here. Maybe this is what I need to do. Just find a way. No, okay, that was the wrong button. Here, I'm gonna hit every single button when I walk back in here, because it is weird to walk into a teleportation device that you can't even use yet, right? But that is the case, because as you can see, I can't use it. Yet. <laughs> so never mind. I guess what I'm gonna need to do now is, um, just find a pathway through here. And, uh, eventually figure out what it is that I need to do. But, I mean, clearly I'm not seeing the solution here. Unless it's somehow getting around this. Ooh, this does look like a way to get around. How would I get to this side, though? There is something over here as well to climb up. I feel like it would make sense that this would be it, but it won't let me head above it or anything. Maybe I use this wall. Wait. No, 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 no. Why does, uh, why does it do that? Like I was trying to kind of clip myself. He wouldn't even like grab onto the light. But that's fine because, I mean, either way, it's, it's probably here. I feel like it only makes sense for it to be this way. So let's jump down. Do not die. You, you're not gonna die from this. Okay. That would have been way too much if he did. Like way too much, okay. So, head down here. This is definitely not the secret I want to take. Just kind of check around. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I do punch that. So let's just jump down. Let's see. So this is definitely unpunchable. But, I'm really curious on whether or not this is. I feel like it wouldn't, but... For safe measures... Okay, it, it wasn't punchable. That was really stupid on my part. Uh, let's just head back down. Oh, wait, whoops. Not like that. Like this. And then like this. And then back up. And let's just kind of run around here again. Okay, so jump up here. Jump up this. Backtrack like this. Head this time this way. And no, because this literally just takes us completely around. So in reality, this is not what I want to do. Also, an easy way to backtrack would be from where that 
wall was and initially how I did it. So, oops. Let's, uh, let's see. Might just be something I'm easily missing out. Like, it wouldn't make sense for it to be over here, right? But it isn't. Um, at least I don't think so, unless, like, I'm missing an area that I haven't explored thoroughly. And, uh, I don't really think it is, so clearly this isn't the case. I'll just keep running around. Aha! There's a wall I missed punching, but for some reason I didn't charge it all the way. Okay, there we go. That's a full charge. And this, oh, is the way forward! Wow! So obviously I didn't look at that place well enough because now I skipped down on something. Whoa, that was sick. Okay, we kind of slid down. Let's keep going now. Oh, and it did take us back. Why would I have a feeling we were eventually gonna be back here? Not this soon though, <laughs> but okay. Uh-oh. You're not gonna mess with me. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Now, come close. Uh-oh. Back up, back up. What is this guy? There's a cool looking dude who's running away. Oh no, 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 who's this person? Wait, what the heck? Come here. Let me grab this first and then... I need to find this person. That person looked sick, but I, I can't actually even head up here. What? All right. Maybe it's over this way. All right, now things are picking up. Hey, buddy! You're not gonna hit me. Whoa! Okay, he did hit me. Oh, whoa, I deserve that one, to be completely honest, because I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why I didn't go in for, uh, like, you know, an attack and then kind of run back. I kind of let him, I literally ate those two hits. Like, I let him hit me there. But luckily, we were able to revive ourselves, and now we're kind of picking up the pace, I hope. Let's say I hope so. <laughs> this is not it, though. I gotta get used to what these puzzles are all about, and it seems like none of these puzzles are meant to be solved yet. Like, these doors, I can't do anything about, and I think that's what gets me uh, wondering what to do, because I, I look at, like, a puzzle that should be solved, but can't be solved yet, probably. So, I'm just gonna kind of run and not let anything slow me down. If something does kind of stump me like before, I'm just gonna keep going. But I don't really know how long we're gonna be going right now. I just wanna kind of see if there's, like, a big ending to the prologue, like some crazy boss, like, like this, wait, whoa, whoa, this is insane, we're already in a new environment, this is the first area, okay, so luckily we managed to actually make it here, this is where I wanted to make it, I don't know what this is, but clearly this is progression in the game, I can assure you that this is progression, oh, okay, and we can move immediately, yes, so now we can teleport back if we want to, the teleportation makes sense, look at this, I can actually move in it, Heck yeah, but that's not the point here. All right, let's see what this place has to offer. At least check out some of it. Uh, it looks like it's an electric desert. Or it's not a desert, but electric wasteland something. Okay, let's head down here. Ooh, the way it turns the camera angle. So it's like, because you, you can kind of see from here. Why do I do that? I like sometimes just let the controller slip. I'm forgetting I'm playing also a, a slight platformer of sorts. Seems like it's mainly a puzzle solving game, but seems like it's platforming. But yeah, what was interesting is you could see like the, the top of the area we fell through from. Now I'm assuming this will take us right back up. Yeah, okay. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Into this. this. Wait, Let's hit the right button, please. <laughs> we should uh, hopefully turn it off. What did it do? Whoa, wait, what's this? Oh, more uh, EX green stuff, whatever this is. Oh, you can crouch? How do I do that? Wait, how do I do that? Is it because I, oh, I was by this so he automatically crouched? Okay, so he has an auto crouch at times when needed. Interesting. Wait, wait, it's over here. Nothing, okay. <laughs> that was like some Super Mario Odyssey type thing. You know, the camera angle won't show you, but if you're willing to check out there, We'll find something. Hey there, buddy. This golem looking for Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. He just took his orb. Whoa, oh, and you crushed it. What? I was ruthless, man. But I guess you gotta... It's survival of the fittest. Whatever robot can survive, you know, you gotta, you gotta eat your brother in. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going with this. All right. 
but let's move on now. Um, so, ah, crab dudes. What the heck? You got me some EXP? You want to fight? Come here. Yeah, I thought so. You didn't come near me until I launched it. So, uh, whoa, whoa. Your eyes pop out very weirdly. Hey, die. Whoa, what the heck? So many of them. Also, I feel like there's some lag right now because of all of the stuff going on. I don't blame the game. I have it on very high settings, but I don't know. I honestly, at this point, I think it's just my computer. Like, I, I don't know what I did to my computer, but I just feel like it's slowly breaking. Whoa, what is this music? This, the sound effects are so loud I can barely hear it, but I feel like I heard some very faint music again. The music sounds, sounds like it's fully there, oddly. It's just... It's, you can barely hear it, but okay, what the heck is this? What? Okay, clearly this is not something I can interact with yet. At least I feel like the game would have showed me an X button. So... This is not it either. I'm just kind of move around. I don't think jumping down there is what I need to do. So, clearly, it might be up here. I need to punch something. Let's try that out. Okay. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Whoa. Okay. Luckily, the cacti don't actually affect uh, me. You know, I'm a, oh, I'm a robot. What am I saying? I don't got flesh. That, that's too... That's, that's way too simple, you know? Okay. I, what? How does this look like a little pathway up, but it isn't? Also, okay. There's nothing here. I just realized... Oh, you can cut down the grass. Kind of reminds me of Okami almost. At least the grass does with how it looks like it's literally drawn. But alright. Um. Man, I am surprised that this has me stumped early on in the game. Don't think I have to play through the entire game, but. Don't know exactly what I need to do. Well, you have to screw it. Ah! Uh. Oops. Came one. With, with the electricity. <laughs> I don't know where I was going there, but alright. So, let's at least try to make our way to the next area or solve whatever this is meant to do. What? Like, I wish I could just pick this up. Unless I can. <gasps> Wait, oh no, I can't. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, no, no button. So, I'm gonna jump back down here and see if I forgot anything on this side. <gasps> there is a secret over there. Which is interesting. Maybe I need to somehow figure that out by... <sighs> no. See, you can't make that jump. Nor can I, like, just climb up this. It seems that I need to... Ooh, what the heck? Wait. No. Okay. No, not this either. Hmm. Oh, whoa. The rumbling goes intense. Nearby something. Looks like maybe over here I can climb it. No, what the heck? I don't want to touch you. Ah, the, the enemy did. Not me. God. Oh, whoa. Yeah, the rumble goes insane. Oh, wait, what the heck? So it connects to me. Is that something I want to salt use for like a puzzle stuff? <gasps> What's this? What's this? Ooh, okay. Gotcha. And then. Place the hand. Voila. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Um, grab this and put it here. Yep. Now that should do something. Well, this. I don't, okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna be patient and see what it does. Oh, okay. What? I don't know if I'm supposed to jump on these or do I just put. Let me just head. Let's just check. You know, I'm gonna stop jumping the gun and assuming stuff. Oh, no matter what, it will take me up here because I took a. Uh, I, I, I opened up a pathway. So, aha. Uh -huh. And then, there you go. Okay, cool. Whoa, more crabs. What the frick is this? Some rolling, dude? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Ugh. Die, wait, 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 run around. <laughs> okay, and then kill these crabs before they kill me. Nice. The combat is actually really solid. I'm liking it a lot. Like, it, I feel in control of this character really well. I like the punches, the jabs, and the fact that you can kind of sprint in battle. Come for it! 
Yeah! Oh, wait, it wasn't strong enough. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up! No, 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 run, 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 run. okay. Charge, charge. Ugh, perfect. You're not gonna get at me. I'm gonna hit you before you do anything to me. Nice, alright. Moving onward. Uh, hey there, I'm not gonna even bother messing with those. Jeez, okay. What does this do? Those can't be moved, at least right now. I don't want to touch the floor because it seems like it's going to electrify me. So I think I just have to make my way around. But let me just double check. Okay, nothing over here. Enemies are spawning. Something is happening. But hey, buddy, I'm sorry. Another robot. Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> and just grab it. He uses his other hand after he just busts open the dude's face. There we go. Uh-oh, 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 whoa, that's a long one. That could probably reach. What? All right, let me just jump down! Okay, um... Let's do this. Ah! No, that doesn't work like that. Whoa! Is that a human skull in there? I just noticed. So maybe it's a human and a robot? I'm so confused, what the heck? Or maybe it's just to, to let you know that you've been electrified. Um, one or the other, but we're gonna have to check again. So move around, get around, blah, blah, blah. Open up this, go through here. This will probably be the last area I'm gonna check before we kind of uh, end off this Zelda-like. I feel like we haven't done too much progress in this game, but you know, that's the point. It's just more so like a, a first uh, impressions type thing. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm enjoying the crap out of this game. I'm definitely gonna be playing more of it after this video. Uh, you know, just for myself or whatever. I know a lot of people have been suggesting to stream games and stuff like that. The thing is, I have a lot of games already planned that I want to do similar things like stream and eventually let's play that. I don't want to, you know, kind of add too many things into into that so like even with these games that I really do enjoy I think I'm just gonna play these games myself instead of do streams for them aha aha I don't know what this what I doing but I, I did it <laughs> okay um this is gonna be tough but no okay I don't know why I thought I could grab onto that little block clearly that wasn't the case all right, well, you know what? Okay, we're gonna attempt just one more time around here, and um, honestly, if I, if I don't know what to do, I might just end things up, because I think overall we got a good gist of what this game has to offer. Now, I can see a bunch of things we need to hit, and it's all over, whoa, no, 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 whoa. It's all over on the side. And the question is, how do you get up here? So there must be some secret I'm just clearly missing out on, kind of like beforehand. Hmm. I mean, maybe it isn't here. Maybe this is just kind of baiting me to want to do something. But all right, let's just go ahead and run back this way then. And I don't think there's anything I can do here. But you know, I mean, should I attempt this? No, okay. That was gonna like knock things super far back or something down those lines. But how? Okay, there's a pathway over here. This is progressing me forward. Keep going. Uh, ooh, what is this? What the heck? This light. This light is very interesting. I, I wanna. What the heck? Was that a glitch? It might have been a glitch. I don't. I honestly, I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> okay. Whoa, this is taking us really high up. Okay, I gotta be careful that I don't do that. Or maybe that's what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do, so. Uh, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Clearly, I don't have these controls down, but hey, I'm gonna have to check this out now because at least now we know uh, another way forward. We're gonna see where this leads us before we truly end things off. But okay, yeah, I think it was a glitch. And you know what, this is a good chance to to make sure whether or not it was a glitch, because I doubt it would do the same thing again, right? Let's figure out here. Yeah, it probably was a lighting glitch. I think lightning was supposed to strike, or like thunder, as you can see, and instead, uh, or the lightning rather. The, the thunder is the noise, you know, but the, the lightning itself was supposed to strike in that location, and it just kind of glitched out or something, I don't know, but okay. 
I'm not gonna run. I need to chill. I want to constantly hit the run button, but that isn't what I need to do. So okay, I'm gonna take back this little thing. Yeah, yeah, to to where that other thing was. Okay, I'm I'm catching on. Pick this up. No, just oh, he can't jump while holding something. Well, at least it makes moving here a bit easier because I'm not gonna be very clumsy and mess everything up. Okay, we're good. Phew. And place. All right, well, there we go, my friends. We did something. Whoa. Oh, crap. Now we can progress even further. Yo, okay. Well, we're probably going to end wherever this takes us. Music is picking up, so that's good. I just want to see where this takes us, if it's something really big or not. So let's figure this out. No, more puzzles. Okay. I think that was like a fanfare music. Like, you did it. There we go, that does this. Opens up this way. Whoa! Enemies galore. Be careful. Eh, jump down here. I don't know, where, did I really just backtrack? I think I did, but whatever. We opened up a new pathway, and I mean, eventually, uh -huh, aha, oh, this is what I need to do. Hit that, move there, do this, do that. Okay, I'm solving everything as I go on, but I think this is where we're gonna end things off. I, I feel like we got a good gist of the game. I'll run back to it so I can kind of not be where I fell but yeah this is actually really fun for my first time playing this game I'm having tons of fun definitely a breath of fresh air you know with this indie style puzzle top-down game I mean it reminds me of Zelda of course and that's why it is on Zelda like but also it, de it definitely has its own charm to it um, and I'm really liking it a lot and wait no there's no way these enemies can climb up okay they can't uh, but it seems that we found some secret and ooh, man okay you know what let's just let's just head to the end of this okay okay wait whoa whoa I'm still alive what the heck this is a secret yes it was it was a secret there was a dude down there I could have taken his core crystal thingy okay let's get it actually so uh, no, no, no wait let me just run it's like the same thing I did again wait what how did that not work that time it worked the first time Okay, I'm gonna grab this at least. No, 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 jump down, jump down. Hmm, I might have glitched the game and I wasn't supposed to land there initially. Maybe he like clipped on. I'm gonna attempt it one more time. Okay, you know what, yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I think I just got lucky, because as you've seen already, the dude's taking fall damage, so. All right. Well, guys, I, I think that does it as I'm literally playing the game, trying to end off the video. I can't help it. I want to show off more. I want to play more. I mean, I'm definitely going to play more off screen, but I mean, it's always nice to also have it on screen with you guys watching. So I think it's a perfect spot to end because there is a save point right here. And we're also going to be able to grab that thing that I failed. Oh, so hard to grab because as you can see, there is a pathway right here. Probably that was a pathway. I don't know. Either way, we found a safe point. I'm constantly falling off, getting used to the controls. But I'm not going to lie. They're really solid. They're really fun. I definitely suggest picking up this game if you have a PC that can run it. I doubt it requires something too crazy. But yeah, if you have a PC that can run it or if you have, um, what's it called? Uh, a PS4. Because I only believe it's on PS4. And PC, sadly, it's not on anything else. Would have been awesome to have it on Switch. Maybe one day, because Rhyme was a game we played on Zelda-like. And that game eventually got a Switch port. So, yeah, I'm going to have to eventually pick up that game for the Switch. But I've already played it on the, the PS4, as you guys saw long ago. So, you know, I'm not really going to plan on picking it up now. But maybe in the future. Either way, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Zelda-like. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And, yeah, make sure to suggest what other games you find Zelda-like that you want me to check out. Overall, the series is really fun because it's pretty much my actual first experience with the game. And this game looks promising. Like, I like how it's it, it's puzzle-based or things to kind of go around and solve and stuff. To me, that's really fun. It literally reminds me of Zelda. So it's a perfect game to just pick up and play. So definitely going to be playing a lot more of this on my own time. But I do want to play more Zelda-like games like this. And they give you guys my first experience. So just let me know what you guys want to see. 
for those who want a very, very, very Zelda-like game on the channel, which is Okami. Yes, Okami HD recently came out, as you can see. I own, uh, own it on PS4, and I'm gonna eventually start my own full Let's Play of this. This, this is like something else. Because I know this is a game that's been suggested a lot, but this is a game I actually want to do on the channel. Pretty much on the outro image you see at the end of the video. All of the characters you see are eventually going to be games we're going to do on the channel in some way, shape, or form. So if you know who they are, then you can easily tell. Those will be full on Let's Plays. For other games and stuff, you just suggest it and I might play it for Zelda. Like, anyways, again, thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Okay, I have to add this in the video because this was freaking awesome. So apparently the title screen when rebooting the game will show you where you were last. And if you hit continue, you literally spawn right in. That to me is a really cool idea for a title screen because it just straight up resumes where you last were. Anyways, yeah, I, I just had to show that off. This is a really cool game.